August 6, 1945, an event occurred that changed the world in every way imaginable and whose effects we are still living with today. That was the day that President Truman ordered an act of such destruction that there was no possible retaliation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Not many times in history could we really talk about the idea of the impact that certain things in 1940 could happen in 2013. We've been talking about World War II the last couple of days and the impact that World War II has had on our society today. One of the things that we have talked about as well is the idea of the atomic bomb and the comparison of what could happen if it occurred in today's society and the impact of how it would take in 2013. As we talked about yesterday, you were going to go, go into four groups, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics to discuss what you would do if you were working in the government today to perform something like this. But first, let's get into the idea of actually what happened leading up to the atomic bomb and what we did to do this. When you think of the word turning point or the phrase turning point, who can tell us how, what kind of impact that would be? Tyler. Change for the better. Change for the better. Why would you say change for the better? What makes you, what, tell everybody what you mean by change for the better. Well, your turning point is like where basically what I said, change for the better. Okay. Can anyone expand on that? That's a good start. Can anybody expand on that? Gio. People want to change and they obviously don't want to go worse. Could, could turning point be negative? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's expand with that. We talked about the positive. Now let's talk about if the turning point could be negative. Gerard? It could switch the balance of power. It could switch the balance of power. Outstanding answer. It could, what do you, and can you expand on that for everybody? Like, with D Day, the Nazis were ahead in the war. Right. After that, they lost most of the Losing momentum. Switching of a balance of power. Let's compare that to today's society. When did the United States start losing their balance of power? We talked a lot about that in here. When has the United States started losing their balance of power? When our what went down? Economy. Economy. Why? Why could that have been a turning point for us? Why could that have been a turning point? Nick? It throws our country off our government. How? Zoe? Um, it's not like we adjust to like. When the economy is good, what happens? Angela? When you have more money in your pocket, Lord, what happens? You're able to spend more. You're able to spend more. You have a little more freedom. Right? So, turning point can mean positive and negative. Let's look at the atomic bomb drop. That was a turning point as well. Turning point for what? The dropping of the atomic bomb was a turning point for what else? Nick? Course of the war, first thing. Second thing, Gerard? Future wars. future wars. Let's look at the word future for a second. Let's break that word down, future. Future wars meaning what? How they will be fought. Connor, can you expand on that? 
future wars, how they be fought, the course of the war. The technological aspect, Connor just said. Zoe? Okay. The overall picture, right? Tell me, can you just expand on that for a second? I don't know if everyone heard you over here. You just said that. People look at America differently. Almost a turning point as well. Okay? The turning point of America, what is that word? Where America wants to expand. Imperialism. Showing our power. Okay? Now, here's the Manhattan Drive. Okay? And there's a key word in here. And then we're going to actually perform the Manhattan Project in here. Because you, as students, will get to see the inside track of what is needed in terms of what our government can spend on. And developing a team and camaraderie in order for this to happen. Assemble this idea. 
Now you know that there is a lot that goes into this. The long lasting impact. You know that if you are President Truman and you're going to do something like this, and you're going to build something like this, it has to be right. Right? It has to be right. Because if you mess up, what happens? What happens if the United States puts these wonderful teams together and something goes wrong? Tyler? Stars, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. What else? Zoe, you're a singer. What happens if you're in Madison Square Garden and there's 25,000 people screaming your name and you get up there and nothing comes out? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Now that's just, you know, you might be in a couple of newspapers. But we're talking about a world aspect. This has never been done before. It has to be perfect. Right? How many times have you heard that? I don't care what you do, but it has to be perfect. So do you think we're going to test it first? Don't you, have a, don't you have a rehearsal before? A voiceover? Right? It has to be perfect. So now, here's what I want you to do. I want the science people over here. I want the engineering people in that square back there. I want the math people in that square back there. And I want the technology in this square over here. The development of the atomic bomb has itself become a story that has reached a level of legend as scientists, technology specialists, engineers, and mathematicians worked in secret for the years on the Manhattan Project to perfect a weapon that would bring an end to the long and horrible World War II, and there was a lot that went into it on many different aspects. Keeping the secret of how to build a nuclear weapon and developing and testing that weapon so our enemies would not discover what we had was a huge undertaking requiring the coordination of political, scientific, and military personnel at the top levels of power.
because the advanced object is not a problem. Okay, so we have to go for the object, right? So you have to maintain the <laughs> Right? Uh, Math is almost like competition. You have to beat everybody else. So you need to be growing your time with terminals. Okay? So here's where all you guys do. Take 30 votes. Time to like two. What? 30 times two is what? 30 times two is 60. Right? So here's what I want you to do. Take that. And divide that up between the area that you want, what you think are the most important. Okay? Alright. You want to put your one in first. Okay, simply in
playing for engineering and head for the Sallies. And then like for the Sallies, for a more advanced scientist, they would get 90 compared to a regular scientist who would get 40. And then for the engineering, the materials, we get 10 million. And for a 10 year experience, we get 90. Compared to five years, two years, we get 40. And then for science, materials, we get 10 million. And then 10 years experience, 90, and then five, 40. Excellent. So a total of what? How much do you think that the United States government would need to spend in order to maintain the stability? 60 million. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So now we know the reasons for dropping the atomic bomb. Okay? Let's discuss two things. What do you think? Let's analyze this for a second. You know the reasons. What do you think the reasons for not dropping the atomic bomb would be? If you were if you were President Truman, what would be in your mind, Tyler? The innocent victims. The innocent victims. Okay, excellent. The innocent victims. Gio. The effect it would have on the earth. The effect that it would have on the earth. What do you mean by that? Like it could be like pollution. It would cause pollution. Nuclear downfall. Nuclear downfall. What else? Lauren? What if something went wrong? But what did we use in order for that to ensure that it wouldn't happen? Practice. Practice, right? A lot of us play a sport in here, or in a club, or in a play. Okay? Or sing. What do you do to make sure everything works? Practice. Practice. But when it comes time to the game, you need to make sure everything works. Same idea here. What if it doesn't work? Okay, excellent. Always a question you want to ask yourself. What else? What are other some reasons? Gerard? Long term effects. Long term effects. Please explain. Radiation. Radiation. Okay. Now let's look at that from the other side. Do you think that's maybe what the United States wanted? Yes. yes. Maybe they wanted the long term effects. Now, let's compare it to 2013. How has the atomic bomb changed the face of warfare in today's society? Nick? Everybody has one. Everybody has one. Paul? Establish the U.S. as being more powerful. Establish the U.S. as being what kind of country? Zoe? Independent. World superpower. Superpower, okay. What have we talked about recently? That wonderful word when a country takes over for overseas <coughs> markets. And here in this nation. Developing that world superpower idea. Okay? Now I want to show you something. Okay, Gio. What kind of 